Hey guys, this is Bill here with East Tennessee Living, and today I want to talk to you about an item I recently purchased. It's an upgrade for my 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro, and I have the Diamondback cover already installed on my Tacoma. And I've been looking for a bed rack I could put on there that I don't have to drill holes in the Diamondback cover to make the installation. So I recently found one, made the purchase, got home recently off the road, truck driving, that's my full-time job, and I, my box is sitting there waiting on me, so I'm getting ready to tear into it. And by the way, this isn't specifically for Tacoma. They make it for all models of trucks, or Diamondback covers, I should say. And they also make a rack that doesn't, it's not specific to the Diamondback cover as well. But anyway, this is called the Thorax Racks. So I'm going to start tearing into the box. And uh, if you're interested, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Sealed like I've never seen anything packed. This is like poured in styrofoam. You could see where it splashed out when they filled it up. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to put the camera down and figure out how to get into this bad boy. So, good job on the packing. Wow, guys. Chassis Unlimited. Never seen packaging like this in my life. I mean, they did a great job. But it's a bear to get into. And they literally put plastic over it and poured it like concrete. Which is fantastic. But yeah, I think I'm going to need a little help. But the parts are fantastic perfectly preserved so I'm gonna keep going so here we go guys I got it all unpacked they did a phenomenal job packing this uh, there's still more parts that I uncover but I got one one of the brackets put together uh, you know one of the nicest things about this so far already Made in the USA. Hallelujah. Alright, so this is the piece that will go underneath my there it is. Underneath this bracket. My tie down cleat. And that's about the height of it, which is good for me. That's the way I like it. You put a rooftop tent on there, it's gonna be right about even with the cab, maybe. Maybe even less. Reduced drag, so there you go. I'll tell you one thing though. So I've been putting the rails together. I built I built the foot piece first. You just have to put the, the base on it because there's no adjustment there. And then I got the top rail. Hard to do it. One hand. So that lighting piece just sits inside the, the rail, and of course that's adjustable. And uh, so I found it easier to uh, just do this part here. I'm in the garage. It's a little chilly outside. It's actually been in the 20s every night, or the teens even, here in East Tennessee. But I found it easier just to do this part here in the garage and uh, set them on the floor here, put the bolts, nuts and bolts on. But I'm leaving them loose, getting them close to tight and then just, you know, leaving them loose enough to where uh, once I set them up here on the diamond back, I've got one installed already. And what I had to do was take the cleats off, of course. I'm going to do the rest of them here. In a little bit so I'll show some of that 
and so once I got the, the, the bases set in the cleats, put the cleats back on, then I came up here on a step stool and just went ahead and tightened my nuts down. And uh, yeah, so that's all there is to that basically. That way you get, you know, everything's perfect. You don't have to worry about, you know, being out of adjustment when you put these ones up there. You know, you can measure it and get it close, but there still, still could be some variances. So, yeah, that's what I found the easiest way to do. And the other thing I had to do was I had to measure, take a measure on each one. And I just use this top little hole here that right to the tip. And it came out to about two and nine sixteenths of an inch on either side so i don't know if each one will be exactly the same probably not maybe who knows but uh yeah so that's that part of it i think the hardest part is getting these taking these cleats off but i'll show you that in a while and putting them back on um they've they've got allen screws that go all the way through here and then underneath on the inside there they've got uh two washers and a nut a nylock on each one so uh, it's not too bad though it's pretty pretty straightforward but I'll show you that here in a little bit when I get your, get these other ones finished up and set them up there the only other thing I did was um, I cut a piece they sent everything was wrapped up in this nice thin foam so I cut little squares and put underneath the base. I don't know if that's necessary, but I saw in some of their pictures on the website, a guy had made actually nice little rubber mats to go under there. And I didn't have any material for that, so a little piece of it sticking out. But Anyway, yeah, so I just used some of that thin stuff, cut little squares about the size of the base, and slid them under there before I tightened it down. So, back to work. Just got to do one more rail, and I'll be ready to mount each one. And then I'll start on the plate, side plates. These take a little persuasion to get off because maybe when they put them on the paint was still fresh or something maybe I'm not sure but this is a high quality high quality item this diamondback cover I really like it and so far the rack is quite awesome as well matches perfectly with it love how they designed it built it so yeah, only uh, five more of these to go, and that's the hardware that comes underneath these cleats. So yeah, no big deal. Uh-oh, dropped the nut. So by the way, these are uh, half inch nuts underneath these cleats. And the nuts on the the rack here are nine sixteenths. So I like to leave a little thread sticking out. No reason to take the whole screw out. Leave some thread out that way when you get your bracket on there, it's easier to get it started again. Since I'm doing this by myself, I cut a piece of the cardboard off the lid of the box and I've been using that on the floor of the garage so as not to scuff this beautiful powder coating they did here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my rack up there and just kind of slide it across this cardboard. And that way I'm not scuffing any of the paint. So again, I don't know if it's necessary, but I decided to cut pieces of that thin styrofoam they wrapped everything in and put a little, pleat, a little piece you know, just right under the cleat there so you can't see it. And then uh, when you tighten down the bolts, it'll be compressed under there. So again, it's up to you if you want to do that. I figured maybe it'll just keep everything quiet and protected. So. So for me, so far, I think the most time-consuming part of this job is just doing these cleats. And uh, you may have to put an Allen wrench in that screw to help you tighten it up if it wants to turn. But And that is a 3 16 Allen. And of course, with all that on there, it definitely makes your uh, diamond back a little heavier to open but of course with the struts gas struts it, it does give you some assistance so it's not too bad so I've got the rack mounted and this is the part I mentioned earlier about me uh, me taking a measurement and so you see I've left my bolts loose enough to where I can just slide this because you want it centered up about as perfect as you can get it just to you know, that's how you're supposed to be. I used to be a carpenter, so I like my stuff squared up. You'll also find that some of these, these screws aren't actually threaded in through the diamond back cover. Uh, but the coating and all on there is, makes it feel like they are. So you'll find that some of them you have to actually screw it out. And some of them you don't. So keep that in mind. So hey guys, a little update here. Um, earlier I talked about taking measurements to get these center rack pieces all even or centered, which that didn't really work out because for whatever reason, I guess maybe the truck, it, it, it seems to narrow slightly to the back. So this very back one, if you can see the rails here, you don't see any holes where the bolts go through. So they're all a little bit different uh, as far, I, but I think it's the way the truck is made in the Diamondback that fits on it. So what I decided was a better way to go was to pick one of these square holes here and use a carpenter's framing square, square them up and, and pick one hole, like say I'm using, using a straight edge as well, and then uh, that way I'm able to line them up that way because in, in some of the pictures so obviously I had to leave the bolts loose enough to where I could adjust each one line them up so now all I have to do is go back and snug all the bolts down and that part will be done then the only thing I have left to do is put my side plates on which are right here so there's four of those of course you put one here one here same on the other side and I'll start that here soon all right guys so I finally got finished with my latest upgrade to my 2017 TRD Pro Tacoma so let me go ahead and show it to you there it is the thorax rack system this is made specifically for the Diamondback cover now, as you notice, this comes in two individual sections, which does allow you to open your panels. It does make your panels look quite a bit heavier, but with these hydraulic struts, it does, you know, assist. And you got one on each side, so it's no problem. And with this short bed, you do have you can't open them both at the same time, which is fine for me. So this system, as you can see, 
you take your cleats off and the, these feet mount right underneath so there's no drilling at all whatsoever involved in this operation to mount this it's fairly simple to put together nuts and bolts the hardest part which wasn't difficult but these are adjustable and for whatever reason they they're not all exactly the same as you can see you can see a little bit of the hole in that one and they get tighter as they go back so this one was all the way to get this last piece I guess maybe the uh, bed of the truck narrows to the back somewhat but yeah so you just mainly you got to get these top holes lined up perfectly so that your panels are even when you bolt it together so they line up straight but other than that it's straightforward simple nuts and bolts there you go I'll put a link to it below be sure to hit the thumbs up button and give me a like if you don't mind I appreciate it thanks for watching guys Thorax bed rack system for Diamondback Cover.